Hey guys, we're another episode of Fishing Tennessee. This is our part two of Fishing 101, video three. Today, we're going to do it on Texas rigging. Alright, I have four lures sitting right here. This is from the Zoom Bait Company that I've been using down at Cordell Hall. There are the watermelon seed, all of them. Right here, got the six inch lizard right there in the watermelon seed. The brush hog. And the watermelon seed, just a regular brush hog, not the baby brush hog. You tell, and the watermelon seed, and then speed crawl, and the watermelon seed. Alright, and right here I have four three aught gamagatsu worm hooks. Alright, so today I'm gonna, I'm gonna Texas rig all these for you guys and show you how to Texas rig this stuff. Alright, first what you want to do is you want to take your hook. Alright, so you take your lizard right here. And you want the back of it, the flat part, to face the hook. Like right there, you want it to face that and the head facing out. You put it in there. Put it through the hook. Make sure it looks like this right here. Right there, it's almost curving. Then right when it's about to curve, you let it come out of its head. So that way, whenever it comes up, that's what it's supposed to look like right there. And you take it up all the way to the little part right there. And it should look like that on the head. Now what you want to do is make sure you get it right. So you want to do about like this. Have that much. And pull up. And what I always do with all my Texas rig is I take the hook and I pull them all the way out. That way, whenever... I set the hook, it will be ready. And then I put the hook back in. And there's the lizard, Texas Ray. Now we're going to do a brush hog. Alright. Pretty much do the same thing with the brush hog. I might do it a lot quicker this time. Alright, so this is pretty much the same as doing it with the lizard. It's just a tad bit different. Do all the same things as you usually do with it. Right there, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Let me pull that out for you. So these are what they're supposed to look like right here. Alright, now we'll go to the U-tail worm. Worms are a little bit trickier because they're thin. They're thinner, so they'll be a lot different to do it. So it's like, but it's pretty much the same. So you do pretty much the same. I'm doing this faster, uh, but if you want me to go slower and you try it yourself, go back to the lizard whenever I was Texas rigging in, and I'll go through all the process with you. Now these lures right here are the ones that work at Cordell Hall. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Right there. And now the speed cross is a tad bit different than that. The brush hog and the worm, you have you can do it on whatever side. But this, the speed crawl, it's got right here the face and it's got the little eyes right there. What you want to do is you want to take it, turn around, and look for the flat side. This is the flat side of it. It's going to say zoom on the back of it right there. So what you want to do is you want to do the same thing, except not as much. So, it's going to look like that, and then pull it down like that right there, and rig it. Alright, that's it for this episode of Fishing in Tennessee. This is the Texas rigging. Uh, another one that we'll have, I'll have up right after this one is how to do the two, and uh, rugs, and soft plastic jerk baits.